like you to meet Riley and Declan. Wave, guys. Say hi. Wave. Big wave. <laughs> they, uh, they're here. They're our junior chefs, part of the new CTV World Life Junior Chefs program. <laughs> Actually, it's all related to the 11th Annual Master Chef Competition, and he is part of, they are part of your entourage. They are. This is Chris Remington. How are you, sir? I'm good fantastic. Good to be here. Uh, t uh, tell us where your junior chefs are. Uh, my junior chefs are my children. They are my cheering section Excellent. this weekend. So. All right, sounds good. Uh, we're going to talk about the, the, the show in a second, but tell us what you're making first and foremost. Uh, what I've got here is I pulled everything that I could from our farm that we use at the restaurant. Excellent. And uh, so we're going to be, I've roasted off some spaghetti squash that's heating up, and uh, we're going to saute some onions, some uh, sous vide chicken, and do a little bit of a spicy tomato sauce to go with that. Okay, sounds good. Well, we're here as your audience and your support, right? We'll help Daddy if he needs a hand, right? We're here for you. Okay, so what do you do first? So what we've got on here, I've got the pan going. Okay. Turn that up a little bit. Yeah, sure. Uh, tell me about the 11th Annual MasterChef competition at the uh, the show. So it's at the Tradex in Abbotsford. Yeah. And uh, what it is, there's uh, 16 competitors. Go head-to-head -head, uh, two at a time, and then it's a knockout round. So every time you go, you win, you go on to the next round. You knock out the chef. <laughs> Absolutely. You knock him out. <laughs> <But> and then it <laughs> goes for two days, yeah. uh, and it'll finish uh, 6 o'clock on Saturday. Saturday. Excellent. Okay. All right, so you got some uh, thinly sliced uh, garlic there? Thinly sliced garlic. Okay. Um, going to add that to the pan here in a second. Okay, I'll just give some room there. Perfect. And I need to grab some basil. I love that. You've got the garden right there at your garden fingertips, right? right beside me. It's all right there. Right beside me. Forget the 100 mile uh, diet. Say 100, what, inches? In inch centimeters? Diet. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> um, and then uh, the spaghetti squash that you're working with, I'm going to show how, yep. what it looks like here in the pan. I just talked us through the chef. How'd you get it to this stage? So basically, what we do, this is what a spaghetti squash looks like. Okay, let me just put Took this it from here. the farm before I left. Yep. And uh, cut it in half. Cut it in half. 350 in an oven for, depending on the size, anywhere between half an hour and an hour. Okay. A little bit of salt, pepper, butter inside. All right. And then what happens is you just run a fork through the inside and it comes up stringy Look at like that. spaghetti. Very nice. Okay. There you go. The onions are going. Onions are going. Garlic's going in. And then what we've done is uh, we've managed to put aside so far 150 liters of. Tomato sauce. Oh, okay. Uh, just from the tomatoes at the farm. You want to share a bit of your recipe for the sauce? What do you All do? we're doing is it's just straight tomatoes. That's it. We're not adding anything else to it. Okay. So that it's a base for us throughout the winter. So if we want to turn it into a soup, if we want to add any smoke product okay. to it, um, anything like that, we have a neutral base that we can start just with. Just pour it in? Just pour it right in. Yeah. Can I take a sip first? Yes, you can if you wish. <laughs> Don't try this at home. Mmm. Mmm. Delicious. Do you guys want to try some? No? Okay. <laughs> hey, Declan, you celebrated a birthday, right, buddy? Yeah. Did you have fun? What did you do? We had well, sushi, and it was all you can eat. Sushi, all you can eat? What did you do, Dec? Um, we, um, we didn't even get to have cake. You didn't have cake? Excuse Cut. me for a second. What is going on? We have to go home for the party. Okay, okay. <laughs> You're going to go home for the party, okay? Yeah. You'll have cake, I promise. And listen, if there isn't cake, you call me, okay? No, we only had cupcakes. Oh, come, come on, that's good. Well, cupcakes. I thought it was close yeah. enough. Yeah, that's very good. I love cupcakes. All right, I'll be right back. <laughs> so, we got the sauce going. So, we got the sauce going. It's coming to come into a simmer. I'm going to add. And I love that you're using, like, basically a skillet as opposed to a, a deep, you know, saucepan as you would. When you think of spaghetti, you think you're making a big, you know, big sauce. Yeah, this is. Thing. Don't eat it with this. Okay. Um, again, we're just going to add the squash in afterwards. Okay. And it's going to. Uh, it's going to sit right in the middle of the plate. Okay. So anybody who has uh, gluten intolerances, this is a great substitute for Absolutely, it. because we're always thinking of, okay, different types of is it quinoa, pasta, wheat pasta. Well, obviously gluten is affecting the uh, people. They can't have a wheat pasta, but squash, nice job. All right, so you add, oh, it smells gorgeous, though. Uh, folks, activate your smell of vision on your televisions right now, because it smells amazing. And the sauce just, once again, it tasted delicious. You don't add anything, like no salt, no, nothing? Nothing to it. No so sugar, all we're doing okay. is taking the tomatoes, we're reducing them down, okay. and then we're jarring them so that okay. later on in the season when, uh, when there's nothing fresh available to us, unless it's coming up from south of the border, then okay. uh, we have all of our stuff. So by the end of the season, we should have about 250 liters jarred okay. in the In storage. addition to putting your kids in this fine apparel, by the way, yes. I want the same outfit too. <laughs> what do you, how, how do you impart your knowledge and your experience, even though they're at a young age, but you want to make sure you start them young as far as eating healthy and, and, and uh, you know, not getting too much of yeah, the Yeah, no, absolutely. I, I try to involve them as much as I can. Um, I, Riley's starting to use a knife now. Declan uses a small paring knife. Okay. Um, and whenever I'm cooking at home, uh, I try to get them involved with it. It's so outside with the barbecue, inside the kitchen, up on a stool, helping me get things ready so that they understand what food's about and where it's coming from. And I have a chat with them. Like, Absolutely. So, uh, what do you like to make? What do you like to make with Daddy? Um, we like to make garlic toast. Garlic toast. What do you do? How do you make that? What's the recipe? Um, 
Take some toast and put garlic in it. One sec, one sec. I'm just telling everybody here. You take you take some toast and you put garlic in it. I love it. That's excellent. Do you add anything on top? Like any butter or anything like that? Yeah. Butter too. It's a uh, garlic cheese. Char garlic cheese. What's in that, Dad? Garlic. garlic and cheese. Okay. <laughs> I'm just new at this. I'm not as good a chef as you. And by the way, I like these outfits as well. All right, chef. Let's take a look at where you're at right now with your progress. So all I'm doing a little yep. bit of salt and pepper here. Salt again. And pepper. All we did was uh, all we did was just straight tomato. So I haven't added anything to this in the beginning. Okay. So it's not like you the sauce you buy in the store that's got everything added yep. to it. Yep. This is just straight reduced tomato. So what we want to do now? Yep. I'm just going to take this. Okay. Bring it to a last simmer. minute, Chef. No problem. We can plate. All right. We can plate. Look we at that. Plate. That's when he feels the heat, right? <laughs> you plate. Show the folks. I'm going to hang out with the, uh, the audience Absolutely. Over here. Absolutely. Okay. Um, uh, what do you like? What's your favorite dish that Daddy makes? Um, well, my sister, she likes smoked salmon. Smoked salmon. Okay. And, and uh, wasabi. Um, oysters on the half shell. Wait, 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 wasabi oysters on the half shell? Isn't that hot, though? I find wasabi's very hot. Do you like yeah. it, though? No. No? <laughs> okay. And what do you like? What do you like that Daddy makes? Um, salmon. Oh, salmon. Okay, very good. <laughs> All right. Uh, do, you, do you think you'll be t cooking for him one day? What, do you, what would you like to make for him? I know you make the garlic infused recipes, but is there anything you want to make for him? Like on Father's Day, you still have some time to plan it. What do you like to make for him on well, Father's on Day? On Father's Day, yeah. we, um, we made him, me and Mama made him, we made him like some eggs oh. and we put blueberries on the side. Oh, I like that. A little savory, a little sweet. Okay. All right, Chef, where are we at now? Where we are? We are just finishing plating here, so okay. I'm just going to grab some fresh herbs. So you just poured out the spaghetti squash? Just the sauce. Put I a little bit of the, uh, the spaghetti. Oh, okay. oh, we roasted it. Beautiful. Already. And there we are. Oh, yeah, he roasted it. See? There you go. Nicely done. All right, Chef. Good to see Thank you, my you very much. Nice to meet you guys, too. Fist bumps as we practice. <laughs> Fist bump. <laughs> there you go. To learn more about the Fraser Valley Food Show that kicks off today in Abbotsford, you can visit FraserValleyFoodShow.com or, of course, go to our website, ctvmorninglive.ca. Okay, folks, we're going to look at the three here. And all together, we're going to wave and say hi to Anne. Say hi, Anne. Hi, Anne. Hi, Anne. Hi. Can't wait to eat that. <laughs> Thanks, guys. Absolutely fantastic. On the roads, not.